Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 25 of this video series. In this session, we'll see the third scenario of the incremental load. So this scenario is a bit tricky and uh, it will perform the three kinds of actions uh, with the data. So those are namely insert, update and delete. So it is nothing but if any new records are being found in the source data, it will add those rows to the existing QVD. And the second operation would be it will update if any records are being updated with any of the new values in the source data. Those records will be updated into the QVD as well. And it will also delete if any records are being deleted in the source table. So let's quickly jump into click view desktop. So we will be creating an QVD uh, for this data and we have uh, four rows of data. Incremental load, then finish it off and I don't want to execute the next lines. So let's put exit script and let's store this into And give it a proper name and extension and then reload it now it has first four lines and it might have created a qvd for that as well the best practice while creating qvd is once you have created the qvd if uh, you don't want the table uh, to be available in the in memory you may drop the table immediately so now in our case we are done and we no longer need this code so let's comment this right so uh, this is pretty much uh, includes the, the previous uh, I mean scenario the second scenarios uh, two steps which is um, like adding data and uh, updating the data so if you haven't uh, uh, seeing that please go through the uh, I mean the 24th video of this series and here first we will be extracting the max date from the existing QVD and uh, okay and then same thing applicable here as well so let's change some data out here so let's change this to this is 135 earlier now i'll make it as 255 and then I'll add one more record that is five and uh, C five. It is zero five two thousand eighty. Let's copy same. The updated record as well right and this is right. now if I reload my table what it will do is it will fetch the latest two records in here so it has a c4 
and C5 in there. Now our requirement is insert update. So the insert and update are happening as it is in the previous scenario and how the delete will work. So here it is the tricky is. So uh, just do inner join. Inner join with the source data. Do not apply any way statements. If you do an inner join with these records, right? So let's remove one record. So that is the deleted one, right? So I'll remove this C3 control minus, let's say, and then reload it right now see the c3 is being removed so the inner join works uh, like all the common records in between these two tables so the, in click view the execution of code is from left to right and top to bottom so here first it will execute this tab Sorry, main tab and then this one and then inc tab. In inc tab, first it will execute this and then this. So means before inner join, we will be having only one table that is insc2, which has the id and all this field. And after this, we will have in this table and it will do inner join of these two tables so that we will be getting the records which are in common. Right, so this is how the insert, update, and delete will work in ClickView incremental load concepts. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe and share the video with your friends and colleagues.